Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install the Guacamole Remote Desktop Tool on Ubuntu 22.04. Apache Guacamole has many dependencies. So, let's install every one of the dependencies the Guacamole server will require to run. Get them all installed as follows. Continue to install other dependencies. Next, we are going to install the free RDP2 version hosted in the Reem Mina PPA as follows. Now, that we completed the packages and libraries Guacamole demands us and we should now get to the business of installing it. In this step, we are going to install the Apache Tomcat Java servlet container which will run the Guacamole Java war file and thus serve the Guacamole Java client. Since it is in Java, we will have to get Java installed first. Once it is installed, you can check the version installed. Next, Apache Tomcat exists in the default Ubuntu 22.04 repositories and can be installed using the following command. Once installed, ensure the service has been started and enabled. And check the Tomcat status. Tomcat listens on port 8080 by default and as you can guess, we need to allow access to the application remotely by allowing the port on the firewall. This is as simple as the following command. First, download the latest stable version of Guacamole Server. Extract the source tarball after download. Next, change into the Guacamole Server source code directory. Then execute the configure script to check if any required dependency is missing and to adapt the Guacamole Server to your system. This command will lead to a long trickle of output. When it ends, you should see the following output which should have a yes on the following, RDP, SSH, Telnet, and VNC. After that, simply run the make command as advised in the last message. Once it finishes, install the Guacamole server as follows. To finish it all, run the following command to create the necessary links and cache to the most recent shared libraries found in the Guacamole server directory. Next, create the configuration file. Then, refresh the system D. Once reloaded, start and enable the service. And check its status. Guacamole client contains all Java and Maven components of Guacamole. These components ultimately make up the web application that will serve the HTML5 Guacamole client to users that connect to your server. The Guacamole client is available as a binary. To install it, just pull it from the Guacamole binaries downloads page, copy it to the Guacamole directory, and rename it. After installing the Guacamole server daemon, you need to define how the Guacamole client will connect to the Guacamole server under the configuration file. Within this configuration, you need to define the Guacamole server host name, port, and authentication provider. Now, create the Guacamole home environment variable. Create the configuration file and populate it as follows.
First, ensure my SQL or MariaDB has been installed on your system. That can be achieved by following the following guides. You can also access the link we put in the right corner to see the detailed guides. Once installed, download the MySQL Connector J by using the command. Extract the file and copy it to the following directory. For MariaDB specific check available connectors, you also need the JDBC Auth plugin for Guacamole. Download it with the following command. Extract it and move it as follows. Now log in to the database server using the root user and password. Once connected, create a database and user for guacamole. Switch to the extracted JDBC plugin path. Import the SQL schemas. Provide the password for the root user to import the schemas. Next, modify the properties of Guacamole. In the file, add these lines for the created database. Save the file and restart all the services. So, we have set up everything well and we should therefore be ready to access the application we have been toiling to bring up. To access Guacamole's web interface, simply point your browser to the following URL. You should be greeted with a login screen as the following. Log in using GUAC admin as the username and GUAC admin as the password. Once connected, you can create a new admin and delete the default one for security purposes. To do that, click on the GUAC Admin User drop-down arrow and go to Settings. User. New User. Ensure all the required permissions have been assigned then click Create. Once the user has been created, log out and log in using the new admin user. You can then navigate to the settings and delete the old admin user. By default, the user does not have SSH connections. We can create a new connection. On settings, select the connection tab. Click new connection. You need to provide the name for the connection, then the IP or host name and port for the server, username, and password under the parameters field. Once created, you can test the connection by navigating to home, drop down on username. Get your environment organized and easy to use even for new users in your environment by taking advantage of Apache Guacamole to use its cool features as you will see after installation. Check it out and leverage its flexibility and convenience.